go. So this is the last part, the tracers. So this has these two pieces on the bottom. This is gonna go over her neck and this is gonna go right in front of her like a breast collar. So what I'm gonna do is set this on the other side of her, bring this in front of her, unsnap her lead rope because she's tied up while we're doing this. Bring this right back here. For right now, you could set these right on top of her. If you have any kind of lamb's wool, that's gonna stay right in the middle. And that sits just like that. Now you could take this piece, which is your over check, and it snaps right into there. Now we're ready. We just have the reins to add, but we're gonna add those in as we hook up the sulky. So we're gonna show you that now. All right. Good? Okay, stop, stop. Okay, so one of the things that's important is making sure she gets over. That's perfect. If you're actually pushing on her, it's not a good thing. We've been working with her. Get over. Good, this is really important, so we want her to get over when we ask her. So now I have the reins. Come here, Coco, good girl, back. I'm gonna hook a rein into each side, and then the reins go through these little uh, circles right here. And now we're getting ready to hook up the sulky. And go. And here's that pretty pink cart that goes along with her. So what we're gonna do is bring it up behind her, and we're gonna take these little round pieces right here and slide, this is called the shafts right here. This is your tree, single tree. So we slid these two pieces in here. Now we're gonna take those tracers. That is the piece. This piece right here that's attached to your breast collar, okay? You're gonna bring it underneath here. Keep it straight. And this hooks right into here. You want to do that on both sides. And she is tied up while we're doing this. You could tie her to a little hitching post or a fence. Somewhere where she can't walk forward because you want her to stand still here. All right, so those are hooked up. Once you hook those up, go ahead and push your cart back so they have a little bit of tension on them. Now you can take your reins. Set them right in your cart. That's the first part. Okay, so now this piece that's hanging down here, you're gonna just take it, you're gonna wrap around and come through this little piece here and you're gonna hook that on the second hole from the bottom. And it already has some marks on it, so that looks like that. Now this piece right here is hanging down. You're gonna bring it up over the shaft, put one turn on it right around this little piece here called your tug, and you're gonna put that on the, the very last hole, and now we're gonna go around to the other side and do exactly the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, so that'll help you remember. Get to start with this piece right here. We're gonna give it a wrap around the shaft through this little U, and we're going to come back and put it on the second from the bottom hole. The donkey's over there are telling us what to do. All right, now this piece, same thing. We're going to take this piece, wrap it around your tug, one wrap, and put it on the, the very last hole. So that's right there. Now. The way this works, these are gonna help the, the carriage come forward. This britchin is what keeps the carriage from coming up and slapping her in the butt. So this is the forward, this is the stop. This keeps it from going up in the air when we sit in it. So all three of those pieces are really important. She's been standing here really nicely being a good little girl. That's perfect. We're gonna unhook her in a minute. We'll get that on tape for you and drive her away and when we come back we're going to drive her right up to here tell her whoa get out of the carriage grab our rope hook up to her halter not her bit always on the halter and then we'll we'll reverse the process to unhook it thank you okay so we're ready to go 
So we're going to go ahead and unhook her. And by the way, I didn't give her a lot of treats to stand still. I told her, good girl, I'm petting her. So physical and verbal praise. An occasional treat is fine, but I wouldn't do that often. Now we're going to back up. So I'm going to come and get in the cart. I'm going to pull back on the reins and ask her to back up. Back, Coco back, Coco back. Excellent. And now we're headed out for a ride.